guys it's hamza with another crypto video today's video is going to be an updated tutorial of how to bridge your ethereum to the binance network now they made new updates about converting your ethereum with some bnb in it a lot of people uh bridged their ethereum in my last tutorial to be uh binance chain but they were short on bnb so they couldn't um they couldn't do anything because the gas fees only accepted bnb so this is an updated tutorial about how to do that so let's get into it all right guys so first things first you need metamask okay that's number one and number two you need ha to have ethereum in your metamask because metamask is an ethereum wallet only accepts ethereum um uh on the ethereum wallet right so this is the ethereum mainnet okay that's first of all second of all you need to download a vpn because in the usa it's complicated we would have just went to the binance.com got bnb and switched it there no they want to make it complicated so with that uh we want to switch from ethereum mainnet to binance mainnet right so if you go down on this arrow okay on the metamask and you uh click custom rpc we're gonna edit the information to switch it from ethereum to binance to enable for us to accept transactions with the binance chain all right so the network name is gonna be uh, bbsc the new rpc url is gonna be this url and is is gonna say mine's gonna say that it exists because i already added it but yours shouldn't say that if this is your first time all right the chain id should be 56 uh and then the custom uh, currency symbol is bnb and then is going to be this url let me move my face all right this information right here i'm going to leave it uh down below in the description but i'm going to give you uh, a few seconds to see uh to do this all right so after you edit this information all right you're going to click save right here okay after you click save the information should be saved and let me move my face to the left because we're going to work a lot with metamask all right so after you click save all right you're going to close this and you're going to uh, drop it down and you're going to see bsc okay you're going to see bsc and when you click on it all right it should pop out bnb with zero if this is your first time like i said or if you have some bnb it should uh, it should pop out your bnb balance as you can see i have 1.6 bnb and if you go uh, to my ethereum mainnet i have 0.3 ethereum okay so that's that's the first step the second step all right is to download your vpn and connect it now i have vpn unlimited uh from a while back okay there's a lot of free vpns literally if you're on google chromecast all right you can just type in okay one minute um vpn uh chrome extension right and there's a lot of free ones top vpn ex uh, vpn extensions for 2021 and yep right here all of these okay and these mostly are free okay so uh after you download your vpn uh, and you connect it like i'm connected right here all right we're gonna go to the bridging website which is gonna be all right so it's gonna be binance.org slash en slash bridge okay we're gonna click on that and make sure you use a vpn if you're in the usa because i don't know they just don't like us i guess it's not that they don't like us it's just not allowed for some reason all right so uh as you can see i connected my wallet I, I went to the top right and i connected my wallet and it should pop out your uh ethereum uh, address right here okay so we're gonna drop down and we're gonna select ethereum now if you have some usdt in your ethereum wallet all right you're gonna click usdt but we're dealing strictly with ethereum so we're gonna do ethereum and we're gonna um <coughs> we're gonna switch it right here it's gonna tell you from binance to ethereum no so we're gonna switch it and you can see that right here that it's connected to my ethereum metamask okay so we're gonna transfer ethereum to the binance network right so um 
when you select it right here, you're going to select Binance Smart Chain Network. All right. And it should pop out what your available balance is, right? 0.34. So we're, today we're going to do 0.2. All right. So we're going to transfer 0.2 Ethereum from my Ethereum network to your Binance. All right. This is where it all changes. I want to swap some BNB gas in this order. So if you don't have BNB in your other wallet, you might want to do this, right? The, the minimum amount is 0.4. So I can't even do this, all right? But if you want to switch one whole Ethereum, which I recommend at least 0.5 or more to have some BNB, right? So uh, we need at least one in order for us to get 0.5 because right now BNB is really up from the last video the, the last time i made this video it was at 200 right now it's at 540 um so this is a cool feature i don't have enough uh to have bnb but if you want bnb you're gonna click this and it automatically is gonna convert some of your ethereum to half a bnb or one bnb or two bnbs whatever bnb so i'm not gonna click this but if you don't have bnb make sure you click this because you need bnb in your binance wallet in order for you to do transaction all right so um after that uh make sure that you have this address okay this is very important. You are transferring your Ethereum from this. It's still the same MetaMask address. So when you switch to, to BSC, when I switch, it's still going to have the same address. All right? This is very important. Make sure you click it and you copy it. All right? Going back to my Ethernet because I just confused the hell out of my, um, my wallet here. So right here I have 0.2 and the destination is going to be uh the address i just pasted it from here okay this this very important step make sure the last four digits match match all right the last four digits match so a29d all right right here if you go back a29d if they match you're good to go right so we're gonna switch this to this um zero so type in 0 0.02 we're gonna click next. We're gonna confirm, all right? And it's gonna tell you submit transaction via MetaMask. We're gonna click that and you're gonna confirm it. It's gonna cost me $10 to transfer this over. You're gonna click confirm and after that is gonna, uh, you need to be patient. It depends on the VPN that you're using, all right? Because some countries are slower than others and it depends on your internet connection over there. It's a long process so it will take about 10 to 20 minutes but you need to leave this alone and it's going to pop out another screen where it's going to tell you how many confirmation is there right so we're going to wait for that screen and i'm going to uh, i'm going to come back uh because this is going to take time so i'm going to come back for the second part all right guys so <clears throat> this is the second part of the video now it should look like something like this after you're done bridging. All right. So um, after the confirmation out of 12 uh, and it's going to say waiting for confirmation, 0.2 ETH will be received to this address. Right. And it says pending. Now it's going to say pending for a while. Sometimes it'll say successful. I've never saw it saying successful. It'll just say pending. But you can check your Ethereum two ways. Right. The first way right is through pancake swap and pancake swap is the uni swap of uh the binance chain so if you're familiar with the ethereum network uh with uniswap this is pancake swap it's it's just like uniswap it's just be better interface in my, in my opinion all right so we're gonna go to trade and then exchange <clears throat> Now, it's going to tell you to connect your wallet. Make sure your wallet is connected and you have the last four digits, right? So after that, we're going to click select currency and you can see my Ethereum is right there. If you don't see Ethereum, just type in e ETH. It should say 0 0.02. Uh, I mean 0 0.2, right? So I click this and that's it. That's, that's your Ethereum. The second way you can check it if you go to your activity, right? and uh check in, uh check in your binance chain so if you go to your binance account 
right here, view in BNB Explorer. So if you if, if you go down on your MetaMask and you switch it to BSC and you click those three dots and you're going to uh, click view in Explorer, right? You're going to see all the tokens that you have. See, I have some Risk Moon. I have some um, uh, Binance uh, pegged Ethereum. You see my Ethereum. I have BNB, a cryptos. I have all these coins. So you can know how much uh, value is in here. Right, so you could see that there is Ethereum. That's the second way. All right, guys. I hope this video helped you guys with tutorial. This is the updated one. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you do like my content, hit the like button below and subscribe. It's your boy Hamza and Assalamu alaikum.